By the end of this video, you'll know how to put a still image inside text in DaVinci Resolve. And I'm gonna show you how to do that in two ways, with 2D text and with 3D text. So let's get right into it. So the first thing we have to do is drag our image into the timeline. And as we can see, it's not quite the same aspect as our timeline. So what we're gonna do is resize it. And we can do that in the zoom attribute, like this. And by default, every image you put inside the timeline is 5 seconds long. But you can make it as long or short as you want. And I'm gonna make it 7 seconds. Now we're gonna drag it up one layer, like this. Now we're gonna disable it. And we can do that by hitting D on the keyboard. Next, we're going to Effects, Titles, and we're going to drag and drop this text into our timeline, like this. We're going to type our text, we're going to choose a better font, we're going to resize it so it takes over the whole screen, like this. Now, we can enable our image again, and we can also do that by hitting D on the keyboard. Now, inside Inspector, here where it says Composite Mode, we're going to change it from Normal to Darken. And there you go. Now we're gonna make a nice fly through transition. And to do that, we have to click on the text, come to settings, then scroll down and activate this dynamic zoom button here. Now let's see how it goes. Cool, but that's not what we want. What we want to do is a zoom in. And to do that, all we have to do is click on swap. Now let's see how it goes. Cool, but to make it look even better, what we have to do is click on this arrow here, then this dynamic zoom icon here. And as you can see, two rectangles appeared. This green rectangle is where the zoom will start, and this red rectangle is where the zoom will end. And you can manipulate it by messing around with any of these four dots on the corners, like this. Also, as you can see, this image got white on the edges, and this only happened because we changed the property. But if we go back to transform, or hit play on the timeline, it goes back to normal. So, what we want to do is make this red rectangle a lot shorter, and put it inside this A, like this. Cool, but since it's a still image, let's give it some movement. So we're gonna go back to transform, we're gonna set a keyframe here on the zoom, we're gonna go all the way to the end, go back one frame, and rescale it. Let's say 1.41. Now let's see how it goes. A lot better, but as you can see, the whole video gets dark after the text ends. And to fix that, all we have to do is cut this part of the image by hitting Command B or Ctrl B on the keyboard, like this. Now we're gonna click on this part of the image and back to the composite mode where it says darken, we're gonna change it back to normal, like this. Now let's see how it goes. And that's the 2D version of it. So let's get to the 3D text version of it. We're gonna drag the image to our timeline again. Let's resize it, make it 7 seconds long, give it some movement. Now we're gonna duplicate it, and we can do that by hitting Option or Alt on the keyboard, and then left-clicking it and dragging it one layer above, like this. Now we're gonna disable this image at the top, and we're gonna make the bottom image 5 seconds long again. And making sure that the playhead is at the beginning of the image, we'll go to the Fusion page. I've already made a video in the channel talking about this process, but with a video instead of an image. So I'm gonna walk through the steps here a bit quicker, but I'm gonna leave the link for the video in the description, in case you wanna check it out more relaxed. So the first thing we have to do here is close the inspector, so we can see all of our 3D nodes. We're gonna grab this 3D text node and a renderer 3D. We're gonna connect our text to our renderer 3D, and we're gonna view our text in our left-hand viewer, and we can do that by hitting 1 on the keyboard, and as you can see, this 3D space appeared. Now, we're gonna bring back Inspector, and we're gonna write our text. Let's use an nicer font, and we're gonna set the anchor point to the center of the text by clicking these two buttons here, this one and this one. Now, we're gonna mess with the extrusion, meaning that we're gonna give our text a little bit of depth. I'm gonna move around the screen a little bit, like this. So let's drag this little circle here to the right like this. Now we'll come to shading and uncheck use one material. Now we're gonna come to bevel material and we're gonna change the color. Let's make it a little darker. Now we're gonna connect the output of our renderer 3D to this blue input of our media 1. You can see the image got into the text. Now we're gonna come back to text, we're gonna increase the size, we're gonna come to transform, and here on rotation we're gonna scroll the Y wheel to the left, like this, and in translation the X wheel to the left as well, a little bit, like this. Now making sure we're at the beginning of the clip, we're gonna set a keyframe on the Z property of the translation. Now we'll go to the end of the clip, and we'll drag it all the way to the right until we've got no more text visible, like this. Let's go back to the beginning. And in order to really get this 3D effect popping, we're gonna come to the media one, settings, and here in the channel where it says alpha, we're gonna change it to luminance. Now we can go back to the edit page. Now what we're gonna do is enable our top image again, and we're gonna trim it all the way until the end of the bottom one, like this. Now let's see how it goes. And if you like this video, make sure to subscribe to the channel and let me know in the comments down below what types of videos you want me to make. And if you want to learn more editing tricks and hacks inside DaVinci Resolve, make sure to check out this video on your screen right now and I'll see you there.